several years ago, while observing a piano master class, I had an epiphany. The male teacher wanted more sound from the student in a Rachmaninoff etude. He demonstrated the fortissimo effortlessly with a perfectly aligned hand arch. The female student stretched her hand and fingers to an extreme width and tried valiantly, but in vain, to produce the same volume. The teacher weighed well over 200 pounds, the student less than 100 pounds. She seemed to have hands half his size, but they both were playing the same piano keyboard. I was suddenly dumbstruck with the absurdity of it. Piano manufacturers, music schools, and teachers need to right this terrible inequality. Pianists must be given a choice of keyboard size. With women and small-handed pianists at twice the risk for injury, we need to act and act fast. So what difference does it make if the keys are smaller anyway? Because, you see, playing the piano, it's not just about the stretch from one place to another. It's, it's not at all that. It's that when you play the piano, there's roughly a hundred different physical kind of touches and things that you have to do that all involve movement of some kind. And it just so happens that all of them are easier by a quantum when, when your hand is larger and over more of the keys at the same time. So to get the smaller keyboard gives you the experience of having bigger hands that you'd always wondered what that would be like, right? And guess what? It's way better than you ever thought. Hi, my name is Carol Leone, and I'm a professor of piano at SMU's Meadows School of the Arts in Dallas. At our school, We've been using Donison Steinbuehler keyboards since September of 2000. I regularly use both alternate sizes in both performance and recordings, and many of my students also practice and perform on these keyboards. One of the questions asked most often is that of how one adapts to the keyboard sizes and the possibility of being able to switch back and forth from one to the other. So I thought I'd begin to answer that question for you by demonstrating an excerpt from a piece by Schubert, first on the conventional keyboard, and then immediately switching to the DS 6.0 keyboard. <laughs> Okay, so you probably noticed that I use less motion and effort to perform on the narrower keyboard. And the Donison Steinbuehler 5.5 keyboard allows even more ease and comfort while playing large chords and octaves. I regularly play all three sizes in my practicing and teaching, and I find no difficulty adjusting immediately. Of course, there is repertoire that is simply too stretchy and uncomfortable for me to play on the conventional keyboard. But the alternate keyboards allow me to play any repertoire normally reserved for a large hand span. Over the years, I've taught dozens of students who have used the keyboards and haven't yet encountered one who did not easily adjust to moving from one keyboard to the other. For a pianist who's trying the keyboards for the very first time ever, they generally adjust in under an hour. And no worries, you won't forget how to play the conventional keyboard.
universities around the world, I, I would argue that 70% of students studying piano do not have instruments, are, are not studying on instruments that fit their hands. Mm. There's, there's profound discrimination. Mm -hmm.